Hey guys, and today I'm just going to be pretty much giving a player rating for the Sunderland nil, Hull nil game where we lost 5 4 on penalties, so let's get started. Labour, to be honest, we were that dominant even though we lost um, on penalties. He had nothing to do um, with the penalties, he could have. He was unlucky. It's a bit of a concern, he went like, I oh, went down the same side and whatever and didn't save any of them. I'll give him a 6 because he had nothing to do, so yeah. Jordan Willis, I thought he did well today. Defensively solid and pretty much PSC helping us trying to get forward. So yeah, I'll give him a seven. Bailey Wright, thought it was just a brace for Bailey Wright again, really. Never put a foot wrong or anything. So I'll give him a seven. Flanagan, he was okay, but at times he still like was giving the ball away cheaply and stuff. Stuff, but on the whole, I think he was solid, and and yes, yes, and they put and not just flank him, but all three kept the like ball from the goal. If you get what I mean, so I'll give him a six. Local nine tried to get forward, tried to like make stuff happen, and um, could have scored in the first half if the Will Greg goal count when he would be running a sister for it to do okay. I'll give him a seven. George Dobson, tidy on the ball, but he gives some needless fouls away what he didn't really have to do. So yes, I think I'll give him a 6 because he weren't awful or anything, he just like weren't great if you get what I mean, so yeah. Um, Max Power, I thought he was good, good like braised the ball, ball and took his penalty well and and I believe now Max Power's getting into a groove like, like and and what I like Power's like going further up the pitch instead of being Dobson sitting back if you get no instead of Power sitting back. So I'll give him a seven. So he didn't put a foot wrong so yeah. Then for Hume, I don't think he was terrible or anything. But again like Dobson, I don't think he was great. He, um, could have scored it um, at the beginning of the second half um, as well. As well, um, he's like he's like cross into the area was like fifty fifty. Sometimes you got a good ball, sometimes you didn't. Didn't I'll give him a six because I don't think he was awful, but at the same time he won great. So yeah. Chris Maguire, I thought he was decent. Tried to make stuff happen. Happened, could have, could have scored, and he had decent delivery off of set pieces, so I'll give him a seven. Eagle Brian, I thought he was actually really good. I was impressed with him. He, he like once he he like went on a run where he three or four players, players, and it was a promising debut. Although he was guilty of like missing one or two chances, so yes, I will give him a seven. And to be honest. Probably me man the mat mat so yeah. Um well Greg um take away the penalty miss in the penalty. He favourite actually scored twice, both were ruled out. The first one was off no the first one was a foul apparently, but I just don't know why. And the second one was fifty fifty whether it was offside or not. It probably was marginally up the late. He looks sharper and fitter. He was just unlucky not not to like like get get his own way. And at the end of the day, someone's got to missing a penalty shootout. So yeah, I would have given him a seven if he didn't miss his penalty. But I'll give him a six because he did do okay and I thought he did well. And at the minute, I definitely would keep going in for next week. Goots didn't really do anything apart from take his penalty. At times, he did give the ball away in the 15 minutes he was on. I'll just give him a five straight down the middle. Same of White. Like he had one stop, stop, but that's it, and scored the penalty in the penalty shootout. So I'll give him a, a five as well. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did watch the match, let us know who you thought did well, who did you thought did bad. So yeah, so like, subscribe, view, comment, and say yeah.